I think everybody's dead. I kind of got the feeling after the news stopped broadcasting two days ago. Which was the last time I'd gotten a phone call from someone. Even my mom, who was calling nonstop. It seemed as though everything just decided to end all at the same time. All the wailing sirens, the news updates, they all just stopped. It started off with one person, then two, then four, sixteen, thirty-two. Then, they stated that it could be airborne. They didn't say it was, but I didn't want to take any chances. And now, everybody's dead. Before the news did cut off, They said something about how scientists claimed that the virus was some mutated form of bird flu or something. I've never gone this long without coming into contact with anybody before. I would rely on the television to keep me company, but now, since the cable isn't showing anything anymore, all that's left are me and my thoughts. I've seen too many movies and documentaries about viral outbreaks, and I knew that even the slightest breath of air, or touch against the skin, could be a successful transmission. I avoided contact with everyone around me, my neighbors, my apartment manager, them. Knowing that it's going to be this way for practically the rest of your life, it really creates an impact on you. The thought of living in a world where everyone around me is dead gets me thinking. And sometimes I think that throwing myself over the edge of my balcony will solve everything. Then I remember that if the fall doesn't kill me, it will. It will.
I usually leave the room once or twice to check the breezeway and see if there's anybody outside. Every so often. I shouldn't have anything to worry about down here. They usually can't go up or downstairs very easily anyway. So far I haven't seen anything yet. Maybe a dog every once in a while. But that's about it. Nothing else. Movies and video games are obsolete since there's nobody to watch or play them. Food will spoil, technology will be left unfixed, and books are only enjoyable the first one or two times. The only good thing about this pandemic is that there's no traffic. But when you're living in a world where you can't go outside, I'll have to get out of here sooner or later though. It's the middle of summer here in Texas, with no rain and temperatures as high as 108 degrees. The power will probably go out soon, which means my AC vent will stop, and this place will become a giant oven. The trash is starting to stink up the place, and I could probably catch some other disease if I stay here too long. Sooner or later, probably sooner. I've spent my entire life being around people, and knowing that they're all gone, along with everything I've worked for, and that I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life is something that I don't want to live to see. Everyone's gone. Everyone I know. Friends, their classmates, their co workers. Everyone I've come into contact with in my life is most likely dead. And they're probably
probably outside that door, walking around. 